straight pro head. Show what you talking about. I'm into my math. Yeah. Now I ain't in the guy. Straight pro at adding these integers. Stay sharp, feel sorry for these dummies. Ain't a crook in the world. Going to take my money if the signs are the same. Keep it, add that. If they different, take the bigger one, subtract that. Signs are the same. Keep it, add that. If they different, take the bigger one, subtract that. What's up, scholars? This is Miss Finney with Lyrical Math. You just heard the track Straight Pro. And this track teaches you how to add integers, all right? So let's look at some examples so you can use this song to help you with adding integers. Here we go. I'm going to give you an example first on the board where the signs are the same, all right? Both of these integers are negative, all right? And then let's look at a different one where the signs are different, all right? And so let's take a listen to the track. DJ, play track. All right, if the signs are the same, keep it, add that. All right, what does that mean? Keep the sign that you see, right? And so for your sum, that's the answer to an addition problem, you are going to keep the sign, all right? And you are going to add the absolute value of the two integers, all right? Absolute value is just the distance that integer is from zero. All right, so negative eight is eight spaces away from zero. Negative three is three spaces away from zero. So you want to do eight plus three, and that gives you 11. So your answer is negative 11, all right? And so over here, in the lyrics we heard, if they're different, take the bigger one, subtract that. What does that mean? When the signs are different, this integer is negative, this integer is positive, all right? Take the sign of the integer with the greatest absolute value, okay? The one is furthest from zero. So in this case, negative seven is only seven spaces from zero, but positive 12 is 12 spaces from zero. So you want to take the sign of the one with the greatest absolute value. 12 has the greatest absolute value, which means our sum will have the same sign as 12. So the sum will be positive, and then we want to subtract the absolute values of these two. So the absolute value is negative seven, is just seven. Absolute value of positive 12 is just 12. So do 12 minus seven, all right? And so that tells you that sum will be positive five. Got it? All right, DJ, play track. <laughs> Try this one. All right, in these two, all right, you would have the signs are the same, both are negative. We keep the sign, we add the absolute value of six to the absolute value of four. Six plus four gives you 10, and so we get negative 10. Over here, the signs are different. We take the sign of the one with the largest absolute value, which would be negative four, so the answer is negative, and we subtract the absolute values of four and three. So four minus three will give us one, and our answer would be negative one. Got it? All right. So, thanks for joining us on this track tutorial. I will see you on the next track tutorial. Scholars, stay major.